<clears throat> Hello everyone, good evening. <clears throat> everyone join me Facebook Live. God bless you everyone. Let's share uh let me let me share our daily devotion message this evening. Come on in. Before I share my message earlier this evening, let me pray first. Thank you, Abba Father, for this uh, for this evening that you bless me to continue to spread your gospel in kingdom. And thank you, Father God, that I know that I believe you never leave me nor forsaken me. <clears throat> Thank you, Father, for uh, blessings that I know you answers my prayers because I claim all my prayers that you are the one, Father God, moving and you are the one, Father God, decide that when I'm going back home in my beloved country in Manila, Philippines, I never in hurry, Father God, it's not my time, but it's in your time. I put in your hand to handle everything about my flight and i'm so thankful that this uh this morning that me and the wife of my boss we spoke and i make it clear to hear about the situations about my ticket and it's really a nice response because she was told me that even her mother was helping about my ticket that i going back home in manila philippines and but the problem is when i called the Philippine Embassy this morning, the Philippine airline was cancelled. So if the Philippine airline was open, they will book my ticket already. So this is really a, such a blessing. I really, I believe. I, really, I believe that we always trust our Lord God and we always, our faith that we never doubt that God is still, is still moving, that God is our creator who made heaven and earth. So Father God, thank you for this all blessing. I pray this evening, Father God, that you bless me more wisdom and knowledge. For your grace and mercy for everything, Father God, I pray for the whole world, for all people. I pray, Father God, for the new girl here, that everything okay with my boss and her, that everything, that she finished her contract. I pray for her and my boss, that everything okay before I leave. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. <clears throat> it's okay. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Hello, everyone. Really blessings this uh, blessing this uh, today. I always never doff my faith. I always trust to the Lord God because you know sometimes we can feel the heaviness. You know, we feel stressed. But uh, if we believing in Him, that God still moving, that we put in God's hand, everything was fine. So yesterday, it's really, I'm very, very stressed. And, and also, I feel like the, uh, depressed. But uh, I always hear in my mind that I, I meditate that God can do it for me. So I am not always in hurry. That because even though that I want, I want now. I want now to go home, but the problem is no airlines. Amen. So we need to wait. We need to be patient to wait in the right time, in God's time. Amen. So uh, today, I really I make I make it clear to the wife about the situation yesterday, and it's really a, a good response that the wife uh, she told me that Bell is not your obligation to buy your own ticket because she understand. Especially, I finished my contract. And also, I almost three years here. So, and she said that her mother, amen, also was helping for my ticket. Now, only we wait. Only we wait for this uh, Philippine Airlines to open. And then they will book my ticket. So, I'm very happy. And also, <clears throat> and also, that I called this morning in my Philippine Embassy and over our labor and I asked about the situation 
So the Philippine Embassy are telling me that it's no flight, it's no Philippine Airlines open. So we need to wait if when, if what date or time. So we need to wait. Amen. So it's very blessing. So it's really, it's amazing that even though that we face so many difficulties, but if we trust our Lord God, everything God will put in a proper place. Amen. So let me hear my message this, uh, this evening first. Daily devotion. Daily devotion. What are you, okay, what are you using your mouth for? This is my message to share to all of you this evening. God bless you, everyone here, Brother Darinok, Brother Lig Barid Senior. Thank you so much, Dadabad. Sister D.B. McCluster, God bless you. I love you, CC. Thank you so much for here uh, this uh, evening. And also, Sister Reggie Machado, God bless you. Amanda Smith, everyone here. Irene um, Wapreka, everyone was worried about, about me. I'm really happy and thankful for all your prayers and support. Amen. I really, I'm so happy and inspire, inspire me that host people sending messages me in my inbox and worried. I really, I'm so grateful and happy. Amen. And happy for all of you, all your support. I'm so thankful. If all together we unite our prayers, God can hear our prayers and God answers our prayers. So thank you everyone here for all your prayers. So we have res we have a good response. When the Philippine airline will open, I can go back home already. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. So daily devotions. What are you using your mouth for? Amen. Every children of God. Amen. What this mouth? Okay. What this mouth? What we are using this mouth? So in the books of Psalms, one hundred forty-five, verse twenty-one. My mouth shall speak, okay, the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless His holy name for ever and ever. Amen. So let our mouth to speak and to praise to our Lord God. Amen. And all, all flesh, every people, all people, okay, bless, bless His holy name for ever and for ever. Amen. Daily devotion message. Beloved all brethren, what we are, what we our mouth for is what we will become in the future. Some use their mouths to eat. Of course, all of us anyway, all of us, this mouth we used to talk, to speak, to eat, to praise to our Lord God. Amen. But some some of mouth okay is haphazardly, amen. They are not selected in what in what they eat, amen. Like they don't care about their health. Only they eat and eat and eat everything, everything of food, every kind of food. Only they eat. They are not worried about their health, amen. So this is the mouth. Okay, continue. So this has tendency. Okay, if we if we are not be careful to eat, okay, different kind of food. Okay, is tendency to destroy our health in body. Amen. Which is the temple of God. Amen. You know that you having a high blood pressure and you are eating like. I don't care. Then, of course, destroy your health. Your high blood pressure is getting more high. You know already that you having a high, a high sugar or diabetes. Then just just eating and eating and eating and doesn't care. Of course, you having a high sugar. Amen. This is example. Amen. This mouth. Okay. Other use. It's what saying. Other use their mouth to talk and godliness. One hundred percent, yes, amen. There's a lot of people. Their mouth is not be careful to use how the way they talk. They talk, they talk a bad words, amen. They talk racist, amen. Gossip, 
This is the loves of people. They loves gossip. Amen. Gossip people's behind. Amen. This is how the way they use their mouth. Gossiping people. Amen. There is good gossip and bad gossip. Amen. Okay. Good gossip. Amen. Goes to further the work of Christ Jesus. Amen. Good gossip that we talk about the words of God. is all about of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whilst, on the other hand, bad gossip runs down the work of the ministry of Christ. Which of these two asking for all of us? Not only for you, for me, for all of us. Okay. Which one of these two, good gossip or bad gossip, are you using your mouth? Question. Amen. So, I hope you are using it for a good gossip. Amen. So that you can be blessed. Amen. Good gossip. Amen. We use this mouth to good gossip and not bad gossip. Because bad gossip, amen, cannot help us. Amen. But good gossip, amen, gossip about the words of God or spread the words of God, amen, we can encourage everyone, every people. We inspire them. Amen. It was saying, so your mouth was created by the Lord, the good gossip. Okay, our mouth created by the Lord, amen, to praise and worship Him. Belongs to the good gossip. Amen. This is God's giving us. We have mouth, nose, e eyes, and ears, hand, everything. But our topic is about mouth. So our mouth created by God to praise Him and worship and not gossip bad people's behind. Amen. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 to 16. Okay, here we are. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice, sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Amen. We praise him. We, pray, we worship him. Amen. We thank him for his holy name. That Jesus is sacrificed. Jesus is the one to sacrifice for all our sins in this world. So we use this mouth, okay? We use this mouth for thankful. Thankful for everything that God bless us. Even though what we have, small things or big things, we use this mouth to thankful. Amen? To thank Him from up. Verse 16. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifice, God is well pleased. Amen. Jesus sacrifice. Then how come everyone, you cannot use your mouth for all doing goods? Amen. This is the people on earth. Why? Because of the God of this world. Amen. Or I will say, you forgot, you forgot to use your mouth for doing a good words. You forgot to use your mouth to spread his gospel. You forgot to use your mouth to speak the truth. Amen. Continue. Here we are. Okay. Also, your mouth was given to you by God. To charge a good curse for your life. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 14. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruits of his mouth. And the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him. Amen. This is why in the Bible still have we call Spiritual fruits. So spiritual fruits 
our mouth. Okay, we use fruits here in our mouth to speak how the way we talk and speak. Amen. And it's not using your mouth. Amen. It's not using your mouth for all belongs to the world. If you think, if you use your mouth, all belongs to the world, our Father in heaven is happy. I don't think so. Amen. And some other people, like it, it was like it's easy for them to speak a bad words. This is me like before. When I don't have Jesus in my life, I don't care anyone. I can shout out loud to the bad words even here in social media. But now I am very careful because I understood, amen, if what is belongs to God and what is belong to this world. Amen. So now I control my mouth how the way I speak and talk. I don't want anyone to hurt. I don't want anyone to be disappointed. Amen. Because I can feel also. Amen. So our mouth is we use. Amen. Use for all doing goods. And we use our mouth to praise and worship our Lord God from up. Amen. Continue. <clears throat> Learn to use your mouth. Okay, a right and God will bless you. People will also admire your life if we use our mouth. Amen. Also, people will admire us, admire us, and inspire us. Amen. So, bless you. Okay, what question, what are you using for mouth? What are you using for mouth for? Here we are. Amen. Okay, sometimes we, sometimes if the time, you know, if we are facing the situation that we can control our temperance, sometimes people forgot, forgot and to control how to control their temperance. Amen. Because, you know, if someone who having, especially if someone who having a uh, high blood pressure, amen, the way they talk, it was like it was a boom. Like this. Boom. Like this. This is how the way they talk. Amen. They can't control. Amen. So then, but after that, amen, they realize that they say something that to make disappointed someone. Amen. But being a children of God, so we are all here. We understood and we know everything for this mouth, for using for, amen. So this is why we always, okay, we always to feed ourselves about the words of God so that we understood and we control, amen. We control our mind, amen, because this is the main in this body, amen. The main of this body, if we control already, we sip. We sip our mouth, not to speak, amen, to speak a bad words, amen. But there's a lot of people here, amen, that are using their mouth to make money. They are using their mouth to make popular. They are using their mouth to become a leader. This is how the politician they are, amen, politician they are. Okay, all in all, I will speak it out. Every leader that they wants to be politician or this kind of politics, they use their mouth how to win. They use the, their mouth how okay, to bully people. They use their mouth how, okay? <clears throat> this is the, their mouth they use, okay? How to sweet, a sweet talk. Amen. To sweet talk. Amen. Especially for those people. Amen. Here to make money. Amen. This is how the people. But. Everything on earth. Doing goods and bads. God knows everything. The best thing we can do here is. This mouth we use. Amen. 
we use to share the words of God. We use we use this mouth for all doing goods to others. We use this mouth all belongs to our Father God. Amen. We use this mouth that we went to church. We praise Him. We worship Him. Okay. We sing. Okay. We sing a song all about Jesus Christ. We use this mouth. Amen. For all, for all of us. Amen. For all of us to show people. Amen. That this mouth. Amen. That we need to control. Amen. That to show people. Amen. To spread the love of Jesus. Amen. Use this mouth to speak the true words of God. Amen. Use this mouth not for all belongs to the world. Don't use your mouth to continue all lies. Because even you talk, God can hear it. Amen. So stop doing using your mouth for all belongs to the world. It's only for Jesus Christ. Amen. It's all for Jesus Christ. We read the Bible. We know the scripture. Everything we know. Amen. So then how come everyone, even you read the Bible, you don't understand. And for those people that they don't read the Bible, Amen. Let's spread to use this mouth to spread the true gospel. Amen. Don't use your mouth like your capital. Capital for business. Amen. Even though what you are doing for, Amen, like last night, I saw and watched this video. I watched this video that he is pretending that he is the prince of Saudi. Because he smells how the way he talk. Amen. He make millions of millions of dollars of money. But the lies is not going to win. Amen. He pretending that he is belongs to the royal family of his mouth. He makes millions of money. He live he, he living like a luxury life, having a luxury cars. Amen. But in the end, he pay her price. He pay his price. He put in jail for almost 20 years. Can you imagine that? Because of this all lies using using the royal family that you are belongs to them because of the evil. Amen. But you cannot think about this for all lies is not going to be when for those people continue lying. For those people, even though for those people using the words of God to spread. Amen. Everyone using the words of God to spread. To make money. To become popular. Amen. They are not using their mouth for saving souls. It means is only using their mouth for doing bad. Amen. You can see in the whole world for all these popular preacher. How the way they preach the gospel, this is what they are using for their mouth. Amen. Why did I say this? Why Bila was saying? Because did you know why? They are living, I mean, like, like a beautiful life for having luxury cars, for having this, this, this house, this mansion. This is how the way they use their mouth. But the answer is, God knows everything. Amen. Jesus alone, Jesus alone sacrificed 
So then why we can use our mouth all for him to serve him? Amen. Why we cannot use our mouth if what Jesus done on earth, amen, that he start ministry, why we cannot continue, amen, to spread in all over the world, to lead people here, to inspire people, to encourage people that people need doing good and not bad. Amen. Instead, instead to gossip the words of God, amen, people gossip people's behind. If you gossip people's behind, cannot help you. If you think can help you, no, only getting more worse. Amen. This is how people, they love gossip. Amen. But let's change. Let's change that this gossip, amen, is gossip is the words of God. Amen. Because it's what saying, there is two kinds of gossip, bad gossip and good gossip. So it depend how you use your mouth for Amen. But I believe even here in ministry, instead the words of God, they gossip. Amen. I couldn't understand people loves gossiping people's behind. I'm encounter this. You can say this. This is why I don't want her to be my friend because I don't like it. Amen. If you are in the ministry, if you are a children of God, what this mouth using for is to gossip people's behind? No. Amen. But comes to me asking me, why is this one? Why is that one? They are together already, Bila. Oh, why did you hear like this? I don't like it. Amen. Then, so that I'm not going to be tempted. Amen. So that I'm not going to distract, not to annoy. Amen. I don't want be. I don't want her to be part of my friend. Because my life, I don't like. I don't like belongs to the world. Every day I'm working here. I focus my work. After I finish my work, I go to ministry. And read the Bible. So there's two kinds of gossip. Amen. So all of us, all of us is asking, what are you using for your mouth? Even though you will say you are in the ministry. You are in the ministry. Amen. You are here. You are present to posting all the scripture. After you're posting all the scripture, and then you come here. And you ask so many people. Blah, 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 blah. So this is, this is the mouth that you are using for. Amen. What we call like this? I couldn't understand. There's a lot here in the ministry. But they are saying, I am a child of God. This is how the way. I am a born again. This is how they are. But you can feel in your heart, in your spirit, Amen. How the way they talk. So everyone here, I am not saying I am a very good one. I am a perfect. But I learn. I learn a lot. Different kind of people. Even me, people love to gossip me behind. I don't care. You gossiping behind me, it's up to you. It's your life. It's your souls. It's not mine. Go ahead. To make you happy, then go ahead. Amen. But, all I know is the words of God. That's why if everyone sent me a message, number one, that I don't like it. Amen. Only that, only that, only you are my friend here, and we are not very close. Only just I accept your request. You come to me. And you start asking me, how are you, sister? How's your life? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Where are you working? Are you married? Are you single? What is your country? It was like it was like FBI or NBI. We call in the Philippines NBI, National Bureau of Investigation. You come to me here and then start asking me about about my life, about all information. Why you are asking me? I don't know you, but if you comes to me and ask me, Sister Bella, can you pray for me? 100%, I will come and run. Yes, I will pray for you. But if you comes to me, start asking and gossip people, I am very sorry, but I will remove you in my friends list because I don't like it. Man or woman, I will remove you in my friends list. But if someone comes to me, and as for prayers, comes to me, shares the scripture, I am very, very happy. Amen. Because did you know why? All gossip people behind cannot help. Cannot help in our life. Amen. Why we cannot focus if what we are doing? Amen. So doing gossip, the gossip Good, amen, is only all about the scripture. <coughs> amen. Because it was saying, there is good gossip and bad gossip if you are using your mouth. Amen. So the good gossip goes to further the work, the work of Christ. So the work of Christ, amen, Doing the ministry, doing goods, amen, helping people, inspire people about the words of God, encourage people about the words of God to, to, to share in this world, amen, that people stop doing, stop doing bad, amen, because they are continue doing bad, cannot help them. Can put them, amen, can put them in trouble. Amen. So this mouth, we need to be careful to use, to use for. Amen. <clears throat> it was saying, okay, good gossip, okay, whilst, whilst others, while other people, amen, and bad gossip runs down. Okay, runs down the works of the ministry of Christ. This is the bad gossip. You can see in all over the world, there's a lot of this. We call a popular, popular a preacher. How the way this preach the gospel of God. Or I will say a false prophet or a false teaching. This is how they use their mouth. They're using their mouth, it's what's for. Number one, they're using their mouth, number one, to make millions of money. Amen. To make millions of money. Number two, to make popular in all over the world. Amen. Number three, all. If they have all already these millions of money, they can do whatever they want. They can travel around the world, use this, use their private jet. See, this is the mouth that they are using for. It's not to spread the true words of God. Because if they spread the true words of God, number one, amen, you don't have luxurious cars. You don't have mansion. You don't have millions. Only you living simply. Amen. Simply living in this world. Amen. Then, why? If I will say, why? Did Jesus win his start ministry? Amen. When, when Jesus start ministry, when he walked unto this world, when he became a man, did Jesus, for his commandments, 
that this our mouth is we use our mouth to make millions of monies. Did Jesus say that? That is his his commandments. Then how come? Amen. So this is the popular preacher. So, amen. But then, whatever you do, amen, for those people, amen, but still God can hear it. Amen. Remember, you carry nothing on this earth. Some other people, they can use their mouth. I will say in politician, okay, vote for me. I will do this. I will do that. Amen. They campaign. It was right. Amen. I will make this bridge for this river. I will, I will do like this. I will do like that. This is how the way the politician or leader, they do campaign. After this, amen, after they win. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, people, for voting me. Amen. This is how the way they use their mouth. Remember this mouth? Amen. This mouth, this tongue is very dangerous. Because this mouth you can use, especially if doing court or court case, Someone pay you, amen, someone pay you to speak only one word, to tell a lies, of course, you make money. Amen. But let us all together use our mouth for all doing goods. Amen. Let use our mouth about love. Amen. About care. Amen. Let use our mouth for everything in this world. Amen. Let's all play, pray to one another, to our beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. We use our mouth all. is from Him, from up. Amen. This is we need to use. Amen. And not lies. Because if you continue lying, amen, 100%, you are here in damnation in the lake of fire. Amen. So let's change. Let's change our lifestyle. Doing good. Treat other, okay, treat other people. Amen. Don't estimate. Don't judge. Amen. It's everything on earth. So it's very clear, okay? It was saying in the books of Psalms 145 verse 21, My mouth shall speak, shall speak the praise of the Lord. This is we need our mouth to praise Him. Thankful for everything. Amen. Thankful that what, what we see in this world that God's created. Amen. This is all belongs to God. Everything on earth. So everything in life, even though that we are facing so many trials, Amen. But still we need to thankful. We are in good health. Amen. We having family or whatever it is. Everything what we see in this world. Amen. We need we need to thankful. We owe it to our Lord God for everything. So then, we need to serve Him. Amen. Because all this, all this, all this belongs to the world is from Him from up. And it's not man on earth. Amen. This is we need to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. But sometimes people, even though that they have and God bless them, Amen. How come to say thankful is very hard for them? We understood. Because they are not believers. All we can do is prayers. To pray that people will understand. 
Amen. My point is, my point is even someone you give something, but it's like it's very hard. Only for the words, thank you. Also, it's the same from our Father in heaven. You cannot say thankful, amen, that the Father in heaven, His begotten Son, He sent into this world, amen, and His begotten Son is the one to sacrifice for all the sins of mankind. This is very sad to our Father in heaven. How can you feel? Even though we are a human, amen? We are human. If how you treat my daughter or son, amen, of course, it hurts. I feel disappointed. How much more our Father in heaven? Amen. He sent His only one begotten Son into this world. Amen. I can do imagine that even though He is God, But he became a man. Amen. And then Jesus teach us about his commandments. Teach us for all doing goods. Amen. For all about love. Amen. For a helping hand. For everything all. Amen. Belongs to Jesus. You can do imagine that even himself he give for us then you are here amen you denied him your mouth you denying the only begotten sons of the father in heaven amen this is the mouth people are using for denying The begotten sons of the Father in heaven. But just think here in your mind. Jesus died for you, for me, for all of us. It was right. He died for all of us. He sacrificed for all of us. And all we know that. Amen. Then how come? How come your mouth, what you are using for? Amen. Nothing to follow on earth. But the commandments, to keep the commandments of Jesus Christ, this is we need to use for our mouth. Keep the commandments of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then how come everyone is very hard, is very hard to accept? Here in your heart, all his love is given us. The loves of the Father he given us. Amen. This is the mouth we need to use. Amen. Don't disobey his commandment. This is we need to. We obey the commandments of Jesus Christ. We use this mouth. To preach the gospel and to speak the truth. That is number one. Speak the truth. The true gospel of God. Amen. Let people inspire. Amen. We use this mouth to inspire everyone. That no matter what happened. Amen. No matter what happened in life for all these trials, for all these dip- difficulties. Amen. But we will tell them, don't give up. Let God handle it. Amen. Let God, okay, let God arrange everything. We understood everything. So this is really our mouth. But sometimes, but sometimes, amen, sometimes we cannot lose our temper. But did you know why I'm telling you all this? My life is really a big change. Before, sometimes my mouth, if I got mad, I can bang the door. Even in front of my boss. 
But now, because I understand, I understand everything. I am teach myself. I am trying. I'm trying my best. You know, sometimes people what they did to me or they are gossiping me. Did you know some things in my ears? I don't care. You can do whatever you want. You can gossip behind me. It's your life. It's not my life. But still, I'm stand strong, doing good. I teach myself. I teach myself to be kind and humble. To control my temperament. To be patient. Amen. I learn a lot. Amen. So this is our message this evening. Daily devotion. What are you using your mouth for? You use your mouth to gossip people's behind? Then my answer, sip your mouth. Because even though you will not say a single word, God can read your mind. So it's better if you gossip them, just pray for them. That is the best thing we can do. Amen. Prayers. Amen. If they will say, I don't like you or I hate you. I will tell you, I love you with the love of Jesus. Amen. Because if I say a bad words, of course, here we are doing conversation. It's going to make more big conversation. And then we're going to argue. Amen. So we need to be careful for our mouth. So my scripture is the book of Psalms 145 verse 21. And Hebrews chapter 13, 15 to 16. And Proverbs chapter 12, verse 14. This is my scripture to share to all of you this evening. Thank you so much, Sister Martha Richards. I love you, Sister Martha D.B. McLuster. Sister D.B. McLuster, I love you. Thank you so much. Dada Brad, thank you so much. Bradley Barrett, thank you so much. Dada Brad, I know you are very supportive. Really appreciate and Faisal Yaqub, Faisal Yaqub watching from Pakistan. Thank you, my beloved brother uh, brother in Christ, Faisal Yaqub. God bless you. D.B. McAllister, uh, Martha Church, good afternoon, USA. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, USA. Tidju, Tidju Chow Dauri watching, watching from uh, India or Pakistan. Uh, I am not sure. Romeo Ebon, God bless you, everyone here. Sister Reggie Machado watching from Manila, Philippines. Irene Mwapreka watching from Africa. Thank you so much, Sister Irene. Brother Darinok watching from London. And Yuki Amanda Smith watching USA. God's blessings upon us, everyone, all of you. Our mouth. Let's control our mouth to say a bad words. Amen. And everyone who loves gossip, stop gossiping. Amen. Because gossip, gossip a bad words cannot help us. It's better instead to gossip, let's pray. Amen. Let's pray for the people. Let's pray for the whole world. Amen. And let's do doing good in this world. I love you all and thank you and good evening from here in the Middle East. God bless you everyone and to all prayers, to all prayer warriors. I really appreciate all your prayers. Thank you everyone. Thank you so much Dada Brad. God bless you. I love you and good evening from Qatar.